Today we're driving the 2021 Alpina XB7. This thing is a beast. Three row SUV with 617 horsepower. It has a bi-turbo V8, eight speed automatic transmission. It's all wheel drive and oh, just look at it. Of course, Alpina has breathed their magic onto the X7 and this is the result, the XB7. We had a B7, the seven series equivalent last year and uh, I've been excited to drive this XB7 ever since. This is kind of the ultimate in speed and luxury. Alpina does such a good job building their cars. Let's hop in, start it up, and show you guys what this is all about. A gorgeous interior as always, beautiful wood grain, really nice finishing. The way this XB7 combines luxury, comfort, and performance is pretty much unlike any other SUV on the market. It costs $156,000. Let's show you in the back. That's where a lot of the action is. This actually wouldn't make a terrible chauffeur vehicle. You've got window shades on both windows and a sunroof just for the third row, which isn't up right now. Look at these pillow soft headrests. Really nice seats, tons of adjustability. You've got rear screens with infotainment and control for most functions in the vehicle that you would need in the back seats. You can check navigation, listen to music. You've got rear climate control, rear heated seats, a DVD player back here, which is pretty cool, as well as a couple HDMI ports and USB charge ports. Also headphone jack and then two more USB-C ports. These seats are super comfortable, lots of adjustability. You've got these armrests that move and just a beautiful view throughout this cabin. Let's show you it back before it starts raining. It's getting a little stormy today. We were just in a BMW X5 and the X7 on which this XB7 is based is very similar, just a little bit longer, a little bit larger, enough for that third row of seating. So we still get this nice split tailgate with this shelf. You can control all the seats from these buttons right here. So you can move the second row seats forward if you need a little bit more room to put stuff in the back. Um, you can fold up that third row. All automatic, all done within a moment's notice in the press of a button. And you can see there's actually a pretty decent amount of space back here in this third row. With the captain's chairs, uh, you can fold those forward. There's a couple of buttons right there and get access to the back pretty easily. For our drive today though, we'll put that down and uh, show you guys some of the cargo space underneath it here. You've got your cargo cover neatly stored in the back. And I think there's also a spare tire in the back here too. At least there's the symbol of one. I haven't checked for sure. Let's see, there's a, there's a spare tire, amazing. So let's talk about some of the upgrades that you get in this Alpina XB7. It has quite a bit of lower fascias, lower rear bumpers, lower side skirts. The front end has this really awesome looking splitter. Unfortunately, we're missing a center cap on this today. You'll notice that. But look at this Alpina front end, just gorgeous, just really cool. I wasn't too sure about the X7's front grille, but in this form, it looks pretty badass. You can see right now too, it's lowered on air suspension. It's in the pretty much full low mode. You open the tailgate and you get into access mode and it gives you a pretty low ride height, which is pretty nice. Love the Alpina logos. You still get a couple of BMW badges on the front hood and the rear tailgate. And just take a look at these 23 inch wheels. These are absolutely stunning. Thin spokes, very reminiscent of previous Alpina wheels. Just much, much bigger. These are 325 section rear tires and the fronts I believe are probably around, what is it, 285s? Yep, 285s. And look at the size of those brakes. All right, let's take a look under the hood at this 4.4 liter bi-turbo V8. Like the B7 that we had, this is the same powertrain. Just a monster, incredibly smooth, incredibly fast. This is built for high-speed Autobahn running. 
All right, just in time. <laughs> We've got some rain coming here. This Alpina XB7 is $156,000. Starting price is around 140 grand, which if you really think about it, that's kind of good value for what you're getting. Remember we had a BMW M8 that was $175,000. And this is so much more vehicle, and I think it's a little bit cooler. Um, so for 150, kind of a bargain. You get your very classy crystal shifters, an Alpina logo, um, the BMW iDrive controller right here. You can raise and lower the air suspension from this toggle switch right there. It will also automatically adjust to the speed that you're going. If you're really cooking down the Autobahn, this will lower to give you just a slightly better top speed. You've got all of your cruise control buttons over here to the left, all of your music, track, and volume controls to the right. Massive panoramic sunroof with sun shades that you can open and close. The headliner is all beautiful Alcantara suede. And I really, really love the wood grain that Alpina is putting into their cars these days. It's bright, it's saturated, it's colorful, and it's really unique in the automotive space. People just aren't doing wood trim like this anymore. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous example of what's possible. There are Alpina logos plastered all throughout this XB7. Steering wheel right here covering the cup holders and wireless phone charging. You've got a little bit of storage in there. This Alpina logo right here above the glove box. On the floor mats, on the door side sills. Pretty impressive stuff all the way around. We have a Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which we'll test a little bit later in this video. And we have incredibly comfortable seats. All right, well, unfortunately it's raining, but let's take this thing out for a drive, see what it's like. The rain will show how quiet and comfortable and how uh, isolated you are in this XB7. That is really its strongest suit. It's just the level of luxury that you get in this thing. And of course, the speed is impressive. It's not quite as fast and impressive as the B7 that we had last year. That was a 200 plus mile an hour sedan. But um, for what this is, having three rows, all the capability, all the size, all the weight from this thing, it's about 5,800 pounds. I do believe they've shaved off about 50 pounds or so from the standard X7, but um, this thing is still just a monster. <laughs> we have our shifter buttons behind the steering wheel. Alpina, however, insists that you don't really need to use them uh, because the transmission is tuned so well in its various sport modes or comfort modes that you don't really need any intervention. And I would tend to agree with that. All week, this eight-speed automatic has just been flawless. It's been a really, really nice transmission to live with in any of its respective drive modes. We're in Sport Plus right now. Stiffens up the suspension a little bit. We get a slightly more aggressive exhaust note. And it's getting a little bit wet out. Oh boy. Handling is very impressive in this XP7 for an SUV. Don't think we're gonna get a chance to push it too much on these entrance ramps today. However, where this XB7 really shines is with ride quality and ride comfort. This is Rolls Royce comfortable over bumps. It is just incredible how well controlled the body is in this XB7. On the highway, barely any road and wind noise. Even with it raining, it's pretty quiet with the mist shooting up at us today. We've got our standard cruise control settings, lane centering, assisted driving from BMW, a very well calibrated, well engineered system in this XB7. Just awesome. It changes lanes on its own. How cool is that? You've got a couple different modes. You can choose assisted driving or just standard distance control, which is basically just adaptive cruise. 
and you can see the green gauges. Just a neat little touch, a neat addition in this Alpina XB7. You get so much confidence behind the wheel of this SUV. I really enjoy driving it this week. It's fun, it's comfortable, it's incredibly luxurious. For 150 grand, this is really uh, kind of next level stuff in terms of luxury and performance. So I guess we could play around with those paddles, buttons in the back a little bit. <laughs> One thing you'll notice is just how immediate the shifts are in this XB7. It's one of the smoothest, highest performance driving transmissions, I think, in any performance SUVs. The way this puts its power down, the way it just ignores the speed that you're going, and brushes it off with ease is pretty incredible. Nothing really hides the speed like an Alpina XB7. Even compared to like a Durango Hellcat or something like that. You have a sport transmission setting too. All the drive modes, the configurability of this XB7 just comes together into a beautiful package. It can be fun to drive and engaging when you want it to be, and then it can just, you can press a button, flip a switch, and uh, it's got a completely different personality. Brake pedal feels nice and firm. We've got a good amount of bite. <laughs> Boy, this rain just kind of came out of nowhere. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll put us back into comfort mode for how wide these tires are. I think we're doing okay with probably some flooding that's going on right now. So while we're just cruising here, I'll show you guys a couple of cool features in this XB7. Uh, this is the same as the standard BMW X7. You've got these experience modes executive, expressive, well-being, and they will change pretty much all the settings in the car to kind of follow a certain theme, which is pretty cool. Expressive is very uh, open and airy, and all the ambient lighting turns to red. It's more energetic, and uh, well-being kind of puts on some soft music and tries its best to relax you. Look at the sunset screen. The massaging seats turn on. It's all very nice. I believe the modes will stay on for a few minutes or you can end them early and everything will go, up, go back to normal. But a pretty neat way to just kind of uh, have a little bit of a moment of relaxation or inspiration depending on how you're feeling and what you're up for on your way back from work or on your commute. It'll even adjust the climate control and change different settings uh, throughout the car throttle response and the immediacy from this bi-turbo V8 is really impressive. <laughs> as soon as it grabs a gear, you are just off. All right, we can do a little acceleration run here. Pretty convinced that this eight speed uses telepathy to figure out what gear you want. You just think it and it does it. It's amazing. The programming is just perfect. 
see how it does into this braking zone here. If it's going to downshift and give me a bunch of gears, it will. Look at that. That's phenomenal. Ooh, they paved this. <laughs> I love the subtle burbles that you get on the overrun. You let off the throttle. The exhaust in this sounds pretty good. If you do want to shift your own gears, you can. Just so responsive. Just bangs into the next gear. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big lightning strike. This is also my first time driving a BMW X7 and uh, pretty impressive SUV. I know I've seen Tedward's videos on the X7 M50i and raving about that. It's a very, very fun package. And in this Alpina form, it just takes it to the next level, of course. But there's so much to like about this X7. BMW is doing such a great job with their SUVs. And for what they offer, it's pretty, it's a pretty compelling option. They're heavy. They don't handle as well as their sedan counterparts. Uh, that is definitely a noticeable difference, but otherwise the amount of luxury comfort features performance out of these SUVs for what they are is really incredible. I love the head up display in this. You can choose your radio stations. They have tons of menus and control options. Uh, the customizability of this XB7 in, in the infotainment and the iDrive system is pretty unmatched. There's a lot of great settings and features and modes. Of course, the focus with this XB7 is comfort and luxury. And that is also represented in the drive modes. We have two comfort modes, comfort and comfort plus, and uh, two sport modes, sport and sport plus, as well as a sport individual that you can configure on your own if you want to. Let's try a, uh, a launch control start with this. Very curious to see what it does off the line. Should be under four seconds to 60 miles an hour, which is amazing. <laughs> Feels about right. You see the launch control active uh, text come up on the digital display and you are off. Super hard shifts between gears really gives you Kind of a punch between first, second, and third there, and you're off. That was impressive. Wow. <laughs> Subdued, subtle, classy performance. Nobody does it like Alpina. I can't express how good this eight-speed automatic is. It really knows what you want and it's just perfectly tuned to each drive mode. <laughs> Pretty flat around the corners in Sport Plus mode. In some of the other drive modes, you get quite a bit of body roll. But that's also part of the fun, is feeling this thing move around. It has incredible handling while at the same time remaining super composed and compliant. Even on these 23 inch wheels on Michigan roads this week, it has just been an absolute joy to drive. It's so smooth, so comfortable. Really just one of the most plush SUV driving experiences I've ever had. love the controls from this assisted driving system. Once you get used to them, it's so easy and intuitive to use. There's also a speed limiter here, which you can set your maximum speed that you can accelerate up to on your own. And uh, that works really well. It's a nice uh, fail safe for if you get a little bit too exuberant with your right foot throttle inputs. 
Distance control is really easy to do. Just these two buttons. You can control your speed, skip five mile an hour increments or one mile an hour increments. You know, BMW, I think, has arrived at the best system for controlling all the tech that they have in their vehicles. This is a system, this iDrive system, and a lot of these button configurations and the layout ergonomics of the cabin is something that they've stuck with for quite a while, and they just keep perfecting it and honing it. And uh, it's a lot more user-friendly, I think, than what Mercedes-AMG is putting into their vehicles. Uh, definitely fewer screens and fewer haptic controls. And I really do applaud BMW for uh, keeping physical buttons throughout their experience, throughout their user interface. I think like what I said about the X5 last week, that was BMW at its best. This X7 is another example of that. And uh, Alpina has just taken it to a whole nother level with their tuning and their performance and their manufacturing process. The, uh, the quality of the interior materials, the look of this thing, the way it drives down the road, the feel of it, the way it makes you feel when you're driving it is uh, really is truly something special. And uh, if you're into something like this, it's a pretty awesome vehicle to live with on a daily basis. While we're just cruising here, let's test out this Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Of course, we have gesture controls. Physical buttons are a little bit more accurate, but that's okay. You do have to kind of get used to your swipes and motions with gesture controls. sound system too. This Bowers Wilkins sounds fantastic. Another thing that I've noticed about this XB7 this week too, and this is also just BMWs in general, the level of efficiency that this thing will just coast at. You let off the throttle on Comfort Plus mode and it'll just coast at whatever speed you're driving at for a really long time. It's pretty incredible. I'm not exactly sure of the fuel efficiency of this XB7, but get something like around 20 miles to the gallon on the highway, which is pretty impressive. I'm sure uh, for most of the driving you're going to be doing, it's not going to be close to that. Let's see what we've averaged in it this week. About 14 miles to the gallon this week, and that's with a lot of, uh, a lot of pretty spirited driving. Not too bad. I think in the uh, Durango Hellcat, we were as close to makes no difference 9 or 10 mpg throughout the week so that's definitely an improvement 
And I guess, you know, you can compare this XB7 to something like a Durango Hellcat, but with everything that you're getting in this, it's, it's twice the vehicle. It's so comfortable, it's so luxurious, it's so nice. You really do feel like you're in something special. And it still puts a smile on your face and kind of uh, blows the doors off of everything else on the road performance-wise. There isn't a whole lot that can hang with this XB7, which is pretty cool. For a full-size, three-row, family SUV, um, yeah, it, it, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, well, there's a short taste of the Alpina XB7. Not the most ideal driving conditions today, but um, hopefully gives you guys an idea of what this thing is like to drive. And I don't know if there are many XB7 rain driving videos on YouTube. For how hard it was raining, it just shows you how well isolated this cabin is and just the NVH levels in this thing are really, really impressive. The performance is about what you'd expect from Alpina. This is not a uh, necessarily a B7 rival, but it's not far off. And for what this is, it really, really surprises me. Um, love everything about this XB7, even the price, considering what type of a vehicle this is and how good it does what it's intended to do. I don't think it's too bad. 156 grand for something like this. I mean, hey, you know, if you can, if you can afford it, I would highly recommend an Alpina XB7. Very, very cool car. You won't see a lot of them on the road, and uh, quite the presence. Kind of the ultimate family Autobahn burner. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.